Hello dear ladies, my name is XAPTGUY and welcome to Monument Valley, it's a game on iPad! Um, I've been getting a lot of requests for this game, and I've seen it everywhere, there was a lot of buzz about it a while ago when it came out, I can't remember when it actually came out, but it was the game that everyone was saying, oh my god, play Monument Valley, it's so cool, it's so awesome, and I decided to finally play it, and it looks super cool, I played it a tiny bit just to see what it was like, just to see what kind of a game it was, and apparently, it's super complex and confusing and weird, well not complex, but you'll see in a second, if, if none of you have played this, you won't know what the hell is going on, but you see, I'm controlling little Ida here, or Ida, whichever way you want to say it. I'm going to say Ida, I'm sorry if it's wrong, but these things you can move, and you can see that the geometry changes completely. It's like one of those optical illusions that you see the stairs going around and around and around, and it doesn't make any sense to your brain, but you go over here, and you can't go up, and you're like, hmm, that's on a different plane than me, and then you click this, and splizzity splam, you get across. It's so cool, I love games like this, the- I know it's like super mellow, and normally I'm known as the guy who shouts at everything, but I like to play these games now and then, because they're super artsy, I love the- I love the art style and I love the music and everything to them. Look at this! Look how cool it is! Yeah, it reminds me a lot of Journey, meets Shadow of the Colossus, kind of. I, I don't know why, just a lot of these games remind me of a lot of different things, I, I always do that, don't I? Every time I'm playing a game, it's like, this reminds me of this, it reminds me of this, it reminds me of that, so I'll probably try and stop doing that now. Um, I'm sorry if the game looks shit as well, like the colors are all weird, it's weird recording iPad stuff, and I don't really have a proper system in place to record it yet. Um, well not yet, I mean, I don't normally record iPad stuff, so it's kind of weird. Okay, so we do, we completed one, so now we're going into two. I don't, I don't know how complex these things get either. I've only played, like, the start of it, and I played, I think I played this level. And then, chapter two, the garden in which Ida embarks on a quest for forgiveness. Forgiveness from what? Yeah, I played this one. So, you see this platform right here? Oh, we can't go there yet. Oh, you can't use that when it's being moved. Okay, now we go down here. Climb down those steps. I wish I could make her walk faster. She's pretty dang slow. Here you go. Yeah. Okay, up we go. And turn. Oh no, we have to go back across here. And then we can actually go across to the other one, I think. Can we? Yeah! Go, Ida, go! You are awesome! Look at her little cone head! She has one of those hats that should say dunce on it. And now this looks like it went way too high from where I am. But you go like this, and it comes down here. Like, that just messes with my head! It's so freaking weird! It's awesome though, I love this shit. I love optical illusions. I actually did a presentation in college on optical illusions. We had to do- We had a class called Learning to Learn, which just sounds stupid. What are you doing? You have a cube inside your head! Well actually, that's not a tesseract, no. No, it's not. I don't think so. Um, complete. No, I don't want to take a screenshot of my success. I have video proof of it! Everybody can see! Monument Valley. Yeah, but I did- we did presentations in school before. It was- it was learning to learn. It was kind of, uh... It was a class where we had to learn how to do different things, like learn how to give presentations, learn how to speak in public. Because, as I said, I was doing hotel management, so you kind of had to learn how to, like, get rid of some of your idiosyncrasies and the way- talking habits. I didn't do very well, because I still- I still do the whole like, and stuff like that, and things like this. I- I, I always do that. It's a bad habit to be in. But we did a pre we had to do presentations on anything we wanted. Hidden temple in which Ida has an unexpected meeting. And one of the- one of the topics that I did was optical illusions, because I thought they were cool and I thought I would actually be able to talk properly on them. And I did! It was awesome! I did a great job! <laughs> okay... Okay- Oh, I can move you! Oh, cool! I didn't actually play this one! Also, everything makes music! Isn't that awesome? Yeah! Okay, you go across there. Nice! It sounds like you're, like, flinging a harp or something. Play music! Yeah! Hey Ma! Play music! Yeah! So I don't do the Hey Ma joke enough times, right? <laughs> I do it way too much. Okay. Go down. Okay, nothing too complex so far. We seem to be able to manage pretty well. We're doing pretty good. It's so cool. The, I, I don't know how this is going to turn out in editing either. Because it's in like portrait mode. Which is annoying because every other game that I record is in landscape mode. Um. Technical technicalities. Oh god. Hi. Who are you? Isn't it a lot like Journey? 
What do you want? Everybody's very nice hats. Long have these old bones waited in darkness. Okay. <laughs> How far have you wandered, silent princess? Finally, a silent princess. <laughs> Why are you here? I'm here to learn all about Gumdrop Mountain. <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Oh god. Oh, that's awesome looking. Oh man, it's so fucking cool. Can I leave now? See you later. <laughs> Thanks for that. I don't know what you did, but we're gonna go up here. Onwards, Ida. Or Ida. I don't know, I'm probably pissing people off. Some people are probably named this, and now they're like, It's Ida, Jack! Not Ida! And then the others are the opposite. Okay, go up here. Yeah, go! Oh! Well, now what do we do? Do you do anything? What do we do? Oh! Oh! <laughs> nice! Okay, <laughs> that works. I knew those had to do something, because they were the only different object in the entire scene. Now you come down. Oh no, you come down. And then you come down. Yeah! But you did it! Oh, that's awesome! Okay, go up and put your cube in the thing again. Maybe. Where do you hide these things under your hat? You're like a magician. Will you pull a rabbit out next? Oh, that one has a cube inside it! I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is weird. Okay. This game is kind of creepy in its own way as well. Like a lot of the architecture is just like huge and dominating looking and very silent. But I love this stuff. I love this kind of art style. Very, very simplistic, but super cool to look at. If if you've ever noticed the stuff I'm talking about in art styles, it's in, I know Snowy Forest is one of the things that I said I really, really like, but a lot of this stuff has got to do with scale. I'm a huge fan of like huge buildings in the distance and like very simplistic, but very tall. That's why I like Shadow of the Colossus so much and why it's my favorite game ever. It's kind of why I like Dark Souls as well, because you're wandering through these environments and then all of a sudden there's huge castles or dragons or something. Chapter 4, Water Palace, in which Ida discovers new ways to walk. Oh, hello bird friend. Okay, your singing is terrible. Okay, there we go, we got some- we got some stairs! Oh wait, do I have to- stay here, do I have to use you again? Maybe? Ooh! Okay, maybe not. Can I go down to Mr. Crow, friend? I like him, he's cool. Um, touch this. There you go. I really like the music, and I like the way everything I'm touching makes music. Like, that makes music. Touching makes music. It's cool. Um, see this now is messing with my head. Look at that triangle. It's like you go across, you can go up, you can go over. Like, what the fuck? That is crazy. I love it, man. Mr. Crow friend, do you do anything? I hope it's coming out well on the capture because it's super pretty here. Everything's nice and colorful. Yeah. But yeah, a lot of the stuff I like is perspective based. Okay. What the f- This is trippy! Oh, this is like that- What the hell is the name of that staircase? I don't know, it's in an episode of Futurama as well. Where they're looking for an apartment. Oh my god, this is messing with my head! Where do we go? How do I go? What? Can I go up here? Okay. What do I do? I, I'm hearing whales or something. Can, oh, I can touch this. Oh! Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I forgot that those little things did a thing. <laughs> nice! Oh my god, I'm upside down and left and right. Good lord. What am I doing? Where do I go? Oh! This is like Fez now! I'm sorry, I keep doing that all the time. I'm a huge fan of games, okay? And everything reminds me of something else. It's the same with music, it's the same with movies, it's the same with TV shows, art styles. I'm always comparing shit. And it pisses some people off. Oh, that is so damn cool! <laughs> this is messing with my head. Okay, now you go up and go through there. Certainly discovered new ways to walk, anyway. Discovered new ways of thinking, too. I'm tripping balls looking at this. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. I really like it. There we go. Did we do a thing? 
think we did. Yeah! Across the lily pads. Where are my frog friends? <gasps> Mr. Crow Dude is back. There's two Crow Dudes. Hi. I'm gonna turn you. Whoa! Whoa, Crow Dude! Whoa! Are you gonna get sick? Okay, I stand on you. And then can I... Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm upside down. Oh, like this. Yeah! And then like this. Okay, now I'm confused. Ah, uh, what? Oh, like this, like this, like this, like this. Fucking hell! This is really weird! Down through the door? Where'd I go? Oh, God. Let's go talk to Old Bones again. Let's see what she says. Will she tell me that I'm taking LSD? This was the Valley of Men. Now all that remains are our monuments, stripped of their glories. It's getting interesting. Thieving princess, why have you returned? Because I wanted to? Okay, what did I steal? Did I steal the hearts of all the men? Is that what happened? Because I am quite a looker. I am quite a cutie. And all the men were like, damn! They all like fought to the death over me. Oh, now I'm out here. So we change you. Oh, no, make more over here. I want to talk to one of the crow dudes. I want to get near them. I want to like touch all up on their face. Are we good? What's in your head this time? Uh, ah, oh, what the hell are they called? A plumb bob? Is that what they're called? It's the thing from The Sims that hover above their heads. I think they're called a plumb bob. Because remember thinking it sounded like plumb bloom, which is in a Game Grumps episode. Remember when Ash caught a plumb bloom? No! <laughs> okay, are we done? There was a DLC kind of thing as well that I bought, so I don't know how long this game actually is. I think there might- I think this might be the last one in this, because there's four sides to everything. Actually, wait, this is five, so now I'm confused. Nope, there's six. And there's seven, and eight, and- WHAT?! <laughs> okay, we'll do five. And then we might leave it at that. This is so cool though, I really like this. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this as well. Chapter 5, The Spire, in which Ida encounters the bothersome crow people. Yay, I can meet them now! Go up and talk to them. Oh. So you guys just get in my way? You guys just be douchebags? F I'll go back here, go on your journey, Jesus! Fucking crows, man. So annoying. Crows are the worst birds. They are the most annoying birds on the planet. Especially when they're all together. Just, ah! Like, shut the fuck up, bird! <sighs> so annoying. They can't sing. They're always into shiny things. They do have apparently really good memory and they're apparently very smart. But... Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm so glad I'm not on all the drugs right now. <laughs> um, do I move again? No? I think I'm- oh, I, I don't move again until I'm over here. Okay, you do a thing over there. Good, great, I'm glad, happy for you. Then go up here. You're gonna annoy me, are you? Oh, he just walks on the wall, what a badass. He's like Spider-Man. Except a lot more annoying. Stay there, stay there and just keep croning at me. Okay, all the way over here, nice. See you later, dudes. It was nice talking to you, or nice. Cock, crawking at you, cocking at you. Caw, caw, caw. So annoying. Hey, crows. And they smell bad as well. Have you ever smelled a crow feather? Whoa, this looks awesome. Look how pretty. Oh, God. Oh, more crow people. Nice. So glad that there's more of them. Can you fuck off? Here we go. <laughs> um. Oh, that gets rid of him. Oh, okay. I was wondering what the hell was going on. Touch you! What did you do? You opened up the wheels of destiny! Oh god! Here we go! All the way across. I'm glad as well because there's lots of puzzles in it, but they're not too hard. So I'm not sitting here going, What do I do?! <laughs> Super nice to look at as well. Um... 
Oh, you move. Okay. No. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh, I can make you go up if you stand on it. Here you go. Nice. Now what? <laughs> I can't move it if I'm standing on it. I can't move anywhere else. Oh, oh no, I can't do that. What the shit, man? Oh wait, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. I make him walk across here. <coughs> and then I make him walk back. Can, can you walk across this, please? Walk onto that. And then bring him down. Nice. See you later, dude. No, 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 no. Stay down there. Stay. Stay. Yay, I did it. Okay. I think I killed a lot of them. <laughs> Good. Annoying crow bastards. Oh, God. This is messing with my head. All righty, dighty, haughty, totty. Go up here. Can I move this whole place? No. Whatever. I don't care. Go back. Climb this and go through the door. Am I going to talk to old bones again? No. I'm in a new weird trippy place. Okay, that got rid of him. That was easy. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Go through here. Get rid of this douchebag. Can you can you not walk down that? Well, maybe now. No. Could you maybe? Um. What? I was hoping he'd go down into the loop thing. Oh, fuck off! Quarking at me. I don't like you. Go away. Um. Oh, like this, like this, like this. Oh, okay. I got it. Never mind. Go like that. And now he's stuck there. Nice! And it gives me a nice little pan flute band whenever I finish stuff. It always reminds me of that sort of South Park with the pan flute band. <laughs> oh God. Where am I? This is so like Fez! Have any of you played that? Fez is such a such a confusing game. I don't understand it. <laughs> I like the moon in the background. That's so cool looking. Okay, come back. And then come back again. And keep turning. Keep on a turning. Keep on a burning. Keep shining. Okay. Good God! This is so weird. Um, how do I get you perfect now? Come on, keep turning, Jesus. Over here. Then go over here. It's so weird how everything actually lines up properly. How the hell do you program a game like this? You don't. You just play them. Well, at least I do. So that's all I'm good for. It. Yeah, we finished it. Cool. Now what the hell is inside your head? Just a pyramid. Okay. Fair enough. Are all these shapes going to go together? And you're going to create a really weird architectural object that you're going to travel around yourself inside your own head? Pretty sure that's what she's going to do. I think I nailed it. I think I figured out the secrets of the whole game. Plot twist. <laughs> Um, okay, level finished. I think I'm gonna leave this video here. This game is super, super cool. I really, really like it. And some of the stuff is really complex looking, but like as soon as you move stuff around, it becomes quite easy to understand. And that's what I like. Stuff that looks super complex, it's not too easy, but it's not too hard at the same time. Cause you know me in puzzle games, when stuff gets too hard, uh, my brain just falls asleep and I die on my table with my face down in a bowl of cereal. <laughs> but I like it. Let me know what you guys thought of it. I. A lot of people in the comments were suggesting it when I played... What did I play recently? I played something recently and I was like, Oh, I really like the style of this game and I really like these types of games and everything. And then everyone was like, if you like this game, please play Monument Valley. So, there you go. I played it. It's really cool. I really like it. I'm glad I got it. I think all these levels are free, actually. Oh, no, they're not. They're not. They're not. Wait, are they? I can't remember. I bought... I got it and I, I can't remember if I bought the base game. I think you might have just had to buy the DLC, the, the next like parts of it, um, but I think all these levels are free, I can't remember. Anyway, if you have a phone or an iPad or an iPhone or an Android or anything like that, you can go off and play it yourselves. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! I like a boss! And I face all road! Whoosh, whoosh. But thank you guys and we'll see all your dudes! Yes, we are! Spring, motherfucker!
Ah, he's coming right for your face, right up to the screen. <laughs> Why'd you let the curtain? Got it. I can do. What's on them? Is that me? <laughs> it's pretty pro. Yeah, another reason I like these games as well is because it gives me a chance to like sit and face the camera properly and I can just sit and talk to you guys properly and just converse about certain things and have fun and enjoy and just relax for 20 minutes and have a good time. I really like that. I really enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun.